Close your eyes. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. And notice where you feel the breathing in the body. Focus your attention there on the feeling. And then ask yourself if long breathing feels good. If not, you can change. If it does feel good, keep it up. We're trying to build a place inside where it's good to stay. The mind needs a home. Otherwise it wanders around exposed to all kinds of things. It wanders into the future, wanders into the past. It's like a little child wandering out of the house. It gets rained on, it gets heated up by the sun. People come along, give it candy, and then just take it away. All kinds of dangerous things can happen to a child wandering away from the home. It's the same with the mind. You wander off in the past, wander in the future. You can get stuck in some really bad thought worlds. And meanwhile, your home gets abandoned. So you're trying to bring the mind and the body together here. When you're in the home, okay, if anything happens in the home, then you're there to fix it. If a pipe breaks, if an animal gets in, okay, you can fix the pipe, you can chase the animal out. At the same time, you've got a roof over your head. So both sides benefit. Of course, you're going to stay in the house, you need something to play with. So we play with the breath. You can make it long, make it short, make it fast, make it slow, heavy, light, deep, shallow. Try to see what feels especially gratifying right now. And keep watch over the mind to make sure it doesn't wander away. This way when the mind has a home, then it's secure. And as long as you give it something to play with like this, then you're willing to stay inside the home. If you don't see anything in the present moment, you go wandering off. Now, there's a lot going on in the present moment, actually. The decisions you're making about your life are being made right here. What to do, what to say, what to think. Each moment that you do that, you're adding another line to the story of your life. And so what kind of story is it? You're the one who writes it. But if it's jumping all over the place, it's just a mess. Nobody can read it. You can't read it yourself. It doesn't make any sense. But when you stay here, focused on what you're doing, things begin to make sense. You can see that you do this and you get that a result. You think this way, you get that result. You say these things, you get that result. You can begin to make connections. We can make connections like this. That's when a story makes sense. And you want to write a good story. So it's all happening right here, your decisions, your karma is being made right here. So bring your full attention right here so you make sure that you could do the best you possibly can. That way you're staying at home, you've got good work to do at home. You're safe and you're writing a good story about yourself. That's a recipe for a happy life.